we have the health sector and social development. But today's program is about a 10 million grant that is giving us, that we are going to sign off on for our needy, our vulnerable citizens um, and to improve their lives, but especially when it comes to the climate change issues and now to make sure that um, we train them through to understand the management of, 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 of urban, urban environment. And I think this grant is good because it's going to drain all their capacity buildings and touch to rate. And I think we'll be able to work with them uh, 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 to make sure that we implement this project effectively and efficiently. So again, on behalf of the government, I would like to say we welcome you to this signing ceremony. I thank you. Honorable Michael Brooks, Ambassador of the Republic of Honorable Samuel Fiza Wurukwadi, Deputy Minister of Fiscal Affairs, Minister of Finance, the Honorable Gossip Fumo, the Honorable uh, Tana Bronski, the Republic of Public Works, uh, Acting Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Fuga Cuddings. We'd like to use this occasion to say that it's extremely gratifying and to say thank you to the French government and the poor of France for this all important project for the poor of Liberia. We are aware of the Ministry of Public Works that this project is going to affect lives of our people in rural communities uh, around Monrovia. This project is intended to provide playground for our children, to provide water facility for our children, to provide, to upgrade some of our community roads, to cater the drainage, and so forth. And so we want to say thank you as we come to this signing ceremony. We are mindful of the fact that we know that this is a grant for be assured that from the Ministry of Public Works, working with other agencies of government, we will utilize this money for the internal purpose and the direct beneficiary with our president we indeed benefit from this project. I want to say here after we we'll continue to engage with you so that after these uh, projects we can have more of our engagement from another level that will have greater impact on our communities and here the I invite His Excellency, Mr. Michael Robbs. Ambassador Extraordinary of the Republic of France, accredited to Barbara for the Mass. Honorable Acting Minister of uh, Finance and uh, Development, Mr. Oloki. Um, Honorable Vice Minister of uh, Finance and Development, Mr. Flomo. Uh, Honorable Mrs. Brunson. Honorable uh, Vice Minister of Public Works, dear Mr. Todd. Um, Mr. and Mrs. the representatives of the Morovia City Corporation, of the Painville City Corporation, of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, all people observed, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, uh, dear Mr. Disco and all the IFD team. Uh, before coming to the very signature of the convention for this Morovia Integrated Development Please let me remind how we came to this. Shortly after his investiture, His Excellency Dr. George Manewea was received in Paris in February 2018 by the French President Emmanuel Macron. And following this visit, Liberia was included. Mr. Visco did take part in this mission three years ago. Um, Three years later, uh, this Agence Française de Développement is among the two prominent partners of development of Liberia. And we are signing today uh, this project after a long and sound uh, preparation. Many meetings, many missions, and please let me thank today all the Liberian institutions who took part and were involved in this uh, project as well as the World Bank. Uh, this project, as you mentioned, Mr. Vice Minister, to rehabilitate, 
rehabilitate, to rehabilitate precarious neighborhoods in the main uh, Libya agglomeration is fully in line with the priorities of the country's national strategy, the BABD, Prosperity, Proposal Agenda for Prosperity and Development, which France is uh, supporting and we wish the success of this program. The project is a concrete uh, production of the excellent relations between France and Liberia, which was marked by the visit of our Minister of Foreign Affairs last this year. It is complementary to the actions of France carries through the multilateral channels with the European Union and with the World Bank and the IMF also. Uh, this is complementary to other actions France and the French stakeholders are carrying to promote growth and autonomous private sector driven growth in Liberia, which uh, will provide growth, employment, and enterprises. We are confident uh, all this will contribute to bring uh, a better life to the people of Liberia. Uh, we were very happy to for, with the visit we made yesterday in Lakpazi, and I promise to go back to, 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 to this community and to the other communities covered by this project, in Shoe Factory, in uh, Wood Camp, to as the project uh, unfolds. Uh, please let me praise the professionalism sorry, of the team of the AFD in this project and thank again all the stakeholders in the Ministry of Public Work and the Ministry of Finance for their good cooperation and coordination because this is a complex project which made it uh, possible. We still count on you for the achievements and for the full success of the project and maybe for the project we will follow very important in the in that. Thank you very much for your attention. We'd like to say a big thanks to His Excellency. We now invite Mr. Matthew Discord, AFD Region Director for the Gaming Club Region, for remarks. Dear uh, Acting Minister, Ministry of Finance and uh, Development Planning, Dear Deputy Minister, uh, Ministry of Finance and Development Planning. Dear Madam Minister, Ministry of Finance and Development Planning. Dear Deputy Minister, Ministry of Public Works, Your Excellency, Monsieur Ambassador de France, Louis Beria. Dear representatives of uh, MCC and PCC, um, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues of Agence for Development, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here uh, to celebrate a significant step uh, forward uh, for a project that we are convinced will have positive impacts on the lives of the inhabitants of the Greater Mon Monrovia. Uh, so we will sign today a financing agreement uh, of the Monrovia Integrated Development Project, so-called MIDP in our common language, um, which will be financed through a 10 million euro grant uh, of the French government managed by AFD, Agence Française de Développement, which is the French agency for development. So, just a few remarks. This signature is remarkable for a number of reasons. First, it's the signing of this agreement was a commitment made by Liberia and France in June 2021, as mentioned by by uh, our ambassador during the visit of the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs. There was a MOU signed at this occasion, and we are here to, um, to, to see uh, that we, we have gone through, very quickly through uh, the, until the signature, and then <coughs> around six months to go from this political MOU signature to the uh, signature of the grant agreement. So congratulations to, uh, to, to you, first of all, for this uh, great achievement. Secondly, it's uh, it, the, the, the head coordination uh, uh, leader uh, just uh, before, but we mainly go through um, other implementing partners, and we, we are very happy that this time 
we are ready to go through government bodies uh, and, and, and through uh, national authorities to implement this project. So uh, it's, it's, I think, an important remark. Third, we believe that it would be transformative sorry, for all the municipalities and area, uh, because as mentioned, we will provide basic services uh, to local communities exposed to poor living conditions, highly vulnerable to the effects of climate change. And I was very impressed how the, 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 the project was designed through uh, intensive um, local consultation. So we are very happy to see that the, uh, the expectations and the needs of the population uh, will be taken into account in, in the projects. It will be conducted in three neighborhoods of the Greater Monrovia, uh, Lakpazi, Woodcan, and Shoe Factory. And in parallel, a complementary IFD facility called the Urban Fabric Initiative will be accompanying communities at the onset of the, uh, of the project. So this innovative approach will be led by a selective NGO which, which will initiate and channel community-based dialogues to assemble temporary urban installation. And such initiatives has yielded very positive impacts of, and a greater sense of ownership of the project in other cities such as Tunis, Tunis, Tunis in Tunisia, Ouagadougou, Dakar. So it's a model we, we really would like to uh, implement in Liberia as well. Um, I would like to emphasize that this investment financed by ID should be complemented by other activities and investment that the World Bank is currently appraising together with the Ministry of Public Works. And um, let me take this opportunity as a final word to MPW and the MFDP for their continued support and their extraordinary efforts to make this signing ceremony happen today, despite the short delays. Let me also acknowledge the excellent partnership with the Monrovia City Corporation. I got the view Deputy Minister for Economic Management, Minister of Finance and Development Planning, who will not make official remarks on behalf of the government of Liberia. Thank you. Um, let me recognize the Ambassador of France to uh, Liberia, uh, the AFD family. My two and great stuff and so then who has been working very hard with us. We we'll also like to recognize our colleague ministers, uh, public works and uh, colleagues from the Ministry of Finance and Development Plan and of course the press. This is a long awaited uh, project. Being a lot of efforts, as you all have mentioned in your speeches, among you, our partners, and that of the technical team and the policy level team from government, various government ministries, and ministries of Public Works, the PPCC, the PCC. Big Bay City Corporation, the Monrovia City Corporation, the Environmental Protection Agency, and of course, the Librarian Authority. There's been a lot of efforts from all of you, technical members from government ministry agencies, and of course, the EFD both technical and professional team to get us to where we are today. I remember when we had some of the initial conversations, the talk where what should we focus on? And that was premised on the fact that uh, the government of Liberia has been promoting alignment to national priorities. And in the context of the we've got 
recently to thank you on behalf of the government of Liberia for working with the government to design this life-changing project. Most of the engagements we talk about program management. In the intervening areas of the French government in youth education training and other social sectors would have contributed towards the development agenda. And today we can see that your tangible engagement with resources being deployed in strategic areas. Around these programs, it is always important to remind ourselves about challenges that we are all trying to address. Challenges that are faced by our people. And I think we had some conversation earlier, we were talking about agriculture. While we look at this that we are signing today, which is already on the table and we, we know we're going to implement it, it is important to begin to look at the future. What else can we bring on the table? I'm sure you've heard our president talk about agriculture as a way of supporting more job creation, more income generating activities. More than 60% of our population rely on agriculture for their livelihood. We need to turn that 60% number into real results where those who work and live in the agriculture sector can truly see the benefits of their labor. And as we said earlier in some of our conversations, commercializing agriculture, especially rice production, will be a key component to look into as we begin to restructure and redesign and look at most of the intervening uh, programs that we have coming. It is important to note that you have also expressed your commitment in working with us in that line. So while we are signing today, we are happy. We are very gratified that we are signing. But we are also even more happy that there are other things in the pipeline coming. So I think we should really be clapping for you. In the, in the pipeline. You have more positive things. Look, development challenges must be addressed by development experts. Why at the same time, the population that benefits from this development intervention can see that changes are taking place, that transformation is being made, that they can feel that the change has happened. And I think with your intervention in the last few years of your re-engagement, we've had over now 20 million in actual execution, in actual support to the government of Liberia. And we believe that this is a significant milestone and we cherish that relationship. We would like to commit to government would do a part. The government team, the MCC, the PCC, the Public Works, the Ministry of Finance, the Aid Management Team, they will continue to play their role in the implementation. Okay, you know, those who are supposed to be doing the work are actually just sitting and, and doing nothing, and someone is doing it, and in, in, in that way you, you think the capacity is being built, really has not proven good for like here. If you see the capacity issues that we continue to talk about. So allow us to do the implementation as a government. Allow the team on the ground to get the work done. Provides what we call the hands-on capacity building. So that when you are off tomorrow, we are able to continue to use that capacity. 
to develop our country. And so we want to again thank you for agreeing to the framework and approving and you go approving to use the country system where we are able to use public works as a means supported by steering committee and other members. We also would like to say to you that the private sector is a key portion of concern. And we know that you have structures, you have systems, you have support instruments. Our private sector is a key participant in the economic expansion agenda of the government. So we really look forward to instruments that will bring in some support to the private sector so that the private sector can really become that private sector that we anticipate, that that private sector we all expect. And like I always say when we have those conversations that we in Paris tomorrow, you will say yes. The private sector in Monrovia, the private sector in Liberia, is as strong as the private sector in Ghana, is as strong as the private sector in Cote d'Ivoire, because you have helped our private sector to also get on its feet, to participate in the economic activities. So while we're doing the reforms and taking all the hard decisions as a government, it is important to put these on the table so that as we work and look into the future, that we will continue to work in those parts. Once again, we want to thank you on behalf of the government. We would like to say to you, Ambassador and the team, uh, Matthew, Chris, and all of you, that we appreciate the support to the people of Liberia on behalf of the government of Liberia. And we would like to say to you that the funding available will be used for the intended purpose, and we all will be proud of the results. Again, thank you. Thank you. Now move to the next stage, which is the sign. We will move back to the start of the French Holland. So we are in front of the last minute of the moment.
Twitter había más. 